Hey y'all, it's Kaizy. On this channel, I try to learn a new skill in a set amount of time, and for this month, I'm trying out rapping. I started songwriting about half a year ago, and I've written like a spoken word piece before, but as far as rapping experience goes, I have none. The goal for this month is to learn about rapping and also hopefully write a half decent rap song by the end of the month. I'm not gonna be Eminem or Kanye by the end of this month at all. If I have a comfort zone and all the skills that I'm learning are kind of on the fringe is here then rapping's out here <laughs> but hey trying out new things is what this channel's all about so we'll see what happens let go this has become a routine thing in all my learning challenges, but I like to soak myself into the general landscape of the skill before I actually dive in. And I think that step is especially important for this skill. Listening to a lot of hip hop music and also getting acquainted to the history and also how it evolved over time. Hip hop is both a musical genre and a culture that was born from the New York City Bronx back in the 1970s. It encompasses much more than just hip hop music or rapping. It's part of a bigger culture that included elements such as emceeing and rapping, DJing, break dancing and graffiti writing. What started as a fringe subculture has since grown to take many evolved shapes and forms in our modern society and has become ingrained in pop culture. I wasn't super acquainted to hip hop music, so I asked my friends for recs. Songs were kind of all over the place, but nevertheless, I took notes on what I was noticing and listened to a whole bunch of songs. Today, I'll be focusing in on probably the most important aspect of rapping, flow. Flow is defined as the rhythm and rhymes of a hip hop song's lyrics and how they interact. It's how a rap rapper chooses to place words on top of a beat that makes the song sound good. I was surprised by how much of a similarity there is between drumming and rapping. Drumming, it's basically just a rhythmic pattern that you play over music. Rapping also is just a rhythmic vocal performance that you perform over music. To better explain that, let's zoom out. I'd actually done a 30 day drumming video challenge. Here's a rudiment example from that video. And to get a hang up while others I can get pretty easily, but as long as- Rhythm for that rudiment is- to change it from drumming to rapping, all I would have to do is find words that fit that rhythm pattern. Let me see if I can think of something real quick. I went to the store and I got some milk. There we go. This wall is very red and I like it. You can basically put anything over and as long as it fits that rhythmic pattern, that's rapping. Now let's try to put it over a beat. This wall is very red and I like it. I went to the store and I got some milk. The way we lie. <laughs> Rapping is basically just substituting drum notes and adding words onto them. Knowing this has helped me understand the concept of flow better, but I'm still kind of confused when people say that this or that rapper's flow, or this is good flow, this is bad flow. The practical aspect of flow kind of confuses me. So I'm just gonna pick a song and practice it. I went through and analyzed a lot of songs, but here I'm practicing Lose Yourself. Love him or hate him, I was personally impressed by NMM's interesting rhyme scheme and also wordplay. All right, so day whatever it is, I've been practicing Lose Yourself these past few days. Getting the flow down isn't hard for me, but the tone of my voice seems to be the issue here. For instance, Eminem has this more energetic tone, whereas for me, I feel like my natural tendency, it's palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already. I feel like it's just a combination of not being used to this type of performance, and also like my natural voice just tends to be more relaxed. To help improve my tone, I underlined words that needed emphasizing and I also did breathing exercises. For this day, I will be focusing on another sub skill. We're gonna look up some tongue twisters. Tongue twisters for rappers. Let's try them. Red leather, red leather. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. You know New York, you need New York, you know you need, you need New York. Why is this hard? M, the N, the O. The Practicing other people's songs in the beginning is helpful for me to understand concepts, but the real challenge for this month is to write my own original rap song. So I was thinking about a topic. This is kind of hard for me because it's gonna be a lot different than a lot of the songs that I'm used to writing. Because of a ton of obvious reasons, I feel like I can't rap about topics that are regular subjects that are talked about in rap songs. I could either take this like totally parody or I could actually try to rap about something serious. I don't know, I feel like going the parody 
prosperity route be taking the easy way out. So I was thinking about like what kind of serious topic would I feel comfortable rapping about? And then I got to thinking about all the TV shows and also the K-dramas that I watch. I feel like especially in K-dramas, there's always the archetype student character who's the rich but very mean character at school, school bully. And I thought, I really don't like people like that. Maybe I can write something about a bully. Push them down. Him up. Should probably take out this cuss word because demonetization. The concept of being a rich bully was getting kind of in the way, it was getting cluttered, so I decided to just focus in on the bully aspect. Incoming a few of the lines that I wrote. Mr. Bully, why are you mad? Is it because you can't comprehend the fact your Bahama trip at eight or your pet pig you named Drake? Big, ugly, loner, loser, yearning, attention. Okay. I'm having much more fun with this than I thought I'd would. Diss lyrics are so fun to write. Okay, I think I'm done with today. If I just leave it as is right now, it is just mean poetry. So let's go find ourselves a beat. Next step is to modify what I've written so that the words actually fit on top of this beat. Let's take this line. Mr. Bully, why are you mad? Is it because you can't comprehend the facts? Mr. Bully, why are you mad? Is it because you can't comprehend the facts? That doesn't flow over it. It doesn't fit. I changed it up earlier to Mr. Bully, why are you mad? You can't take the facts. Now it sounds like this. Mr. Bully, why are you mad? You can't take the facts. After reworking to the best of my abilities, I recorded a rough draft version and reached out to a coach for some feedback. Hey. Hi, Prophet. How are you? Good to see you. Prophet gives online rap lessons, and during our lesson, we went over what I did well and also what I could improve on. It's actually amazing for you having just started rapping. You had a good flow, good timing. The lyrics are written really well. The number one thing that I end up teaching is how to rap on the beat, but you didn't have that problem. You were already killing it on the beat. For the rest of the lesson, we went over the song, and he pointed out places that I can improve. I learned a lot from this session. The most important thing is believability. People think the mm -hmm. most important thing is what I'm saying. The most important thing is that I believe what you're saying. When you're recording, don't say your rap to the microphone. Say it through the microphone into the ears of the person that's going to hear it. I just finished my lesson. So much good advice. For the final few days, I made the final edits and practiced through the performance of the song. So I have to end this challenge a few days earlier because I need some time to mix and master the song. I really wish I had like another lesson. I do feel like I gave my 100% my all for the time allotted. So I hope y'all enjoy. You're the school bully, mess up little Nate every day Push him down, mess him up down all the school hallways He pushed his head into a toilet like it was his own grave Didn't realize that words could kill too Did you mate? So think your tough dog gives you a cocky excuse To be mean, you're top of class, but peel back the truth Got a billion baby tutors, even finance gurus I wish your parents got a one for personality too Mr. Bully, what you mad? You can't take the fact you're an act Let's unpack your bad man without a mask Without the charisma, just some morals brought the passion or ass like 2020, take back this mask. You're a bully bullseye. I see right through you. Even baby calves have more meat than you do. So let's cut the bull, cut to the chase. And this race, I won't cut your ring. Wait, with those calves, you can't keep up with my game. Full in off society. Ugly loner, losing yearning attention To be transparent, now I'm embarrassed Is your sense of worth so fragile, your name's not even Clarence To have sympathy for those with their own vice and anxieties No matter how big or small they be, you ask carefully Why I make you my enemy? Well now, take a seat DJ, cut the beat I see somebody come smelling your fake ideas You keep your barely parodies Now pleading, kidding, I'll tell him yes to call the police unnecessary enemies Can't you see it? It's a therapy Home six the power, hungry is weak of insecurities Full in our society Break the 
this chain of hate But man, you don't deserve more bars, I'm done with you Forget you, this one's for all the nates out there too Who can't sleep at night and their nightmares crawl around their souls If they make you think you're weird, just know that that's not true I started rapping just this month, it's enough to tell ya You kid, you keep your head up, you deserve the love I found for ya He's just a loser, a fraud, and a fool Just a bully, watch, will some karma will come through He's just a little bully, he's just a little little He's just a little bully, he's just a little little Hope y'all liked Mr. Bully. Still got lots to practice, but I did learn a ton this month and it was really fun trying out something totally new. This was another humongous editing project, so if you left a like and a comment, I would really appreciate it. Let's bring Mr. Clipboard out. If you wanna see any of my past learning challenges, then go check out my past video here. If you wanna keep up to date to whatever I'm learning next, then go ahead and subscribe below. Thanks for watching, bye. Mr. Bully, why are you mad? Mum, mum, mum. Mic check, one, two, three. Let's go.